and we return with another live episode of Life on Geon, where we follow the exploits currently of the Amorasi tribe, that have grown one of the greater tribes on the planet of Geon. Currently they have been ruthlessly attacked by the people of the Green tribe, right over there. And their assaults cannot be tolerated any longer. So, we shall begin. The tribe began to prepare for a war to finally secure their holdings and land. Before that, I think we want some, uh, a few of our tribes to actually start using throwing spears. So we will actually make a little throwing spear blacksmithing here. We also have healers for healing rods. That might be interesting for the future. Now, not necessarily needed, but uh, yes. We will uh, send a few of our tribe to gather the spears. Because I have found that, uh, well, we are just too massive to all swarm in with axes. If we uh, get attacked once more by the orange village that's moving into our territory this time, well, let us defend ourselves against them. So we have to march straight on forward to this uh, place to have final, to final safety and security. It seems like a good uh, matchup. Let us await these uh, refugee raiders. Yeah, I hear the more drums of war. Oh, there they are! Attack! <laughs> so another battle in the outskirts of Amorasi village again. Once again, they have earned their tribal colors by painting the yellow, yellow soil red with blood. But victory is ours. I think it's time we need to get us some, uh, some food again. And well, right now I think fruit is the... Uh, Choice uh, for the menu. Cause, well, they are still ha still wounded, and I don't think hunting right now would be a great idea. Ooh, these are aggressive little creatures. They might need to be hunted. Yeah, the Amorasi answer aggression with uh, more aggression, as it were. That seems to be their code of contact and instinct to life. The little one is learning. Marty eats. Getting a salt for a year. Amount of fruit again, that's very good. Oh, we could also collect some eggs while we're at it. Get our fruit supplies and food supplies back to the best they can be. It gives me an idea. Oh, not this idea. Another thing I think we should uh, buy, buy out maybe is a healing rod hut, a healer's hut. So this young man can become a Shaman or healer of the tribe. So we have plenty of food once more, that's very good. And I think we that. Time to go back to war. The Green Tribe, they have been uh, oh, threats for quite a while. Uh, actually, the Green Tribe is over there. Sorry. Next to these aggressive creatures, 
Seems this land is very aggressive. Oh, and there's a giant big green monster over there. Let's stay away from the aggressive creatures, because I would rather face off uh, our rock against this enemy village here. Yes. Now the time is to just, just take this turn. I'm happy to see the terrain is green tribe of uh, shooting nets. As it was observed, a strange visit in the sky. What's your favorite? Are you guys doing anything? No. You ask man or workers. We were not worthy of a day for school. Oh. And some people barely disappear from the battle. And the strange and mysterious circumstances. Their strange visitor, the last witness to their culture and way of life. So who do we lost? I think we lost one of the spear throwers, so let's try a new one. Oh, you there, spear fire. I'm getting a feeling that some people just didn't come along with this whole date. Oh well, even more impressive what we did. Their technology advanced from the stolen relics of the green tribe. I'm not saying well at here. Do not wreck the wreck? But let us hunt these aggressive uh, creatures. As, uh, such aggression cannot be allowed to stay across the uh, Amaran Amarani territory. Awesome. I guess you can join the collecting. Collecting. Uh, I'll make you an axe man. I don't see you guys killing the green pair things. Keep murdering them. No threats to Amarasi should be allowed. Great Amarasi is supreme, now gather them meat. For a feast of victory. I thought you were extinct. Well, thankfully our creatures are stronger, there we go. Thank you there, your beautiful pet iron. Iron twig thing. That is actually very much appreciated. And I think after such a war, it was time to maybe look at the advancement of technology among the villagers. And we got flaming torches. But we don't really need those. Let us see how their garb and arm develop over the years. Ah, I think this is a very good one. So I say wealth and knowledge of metallurgy grew. So grew their ability to create more refined headwear. Like this. Hmm, 
might like the old one better. And this works well enough. Okay, what else did we get? Some masks? For more combat skill, better packs. Let's see, I think the armor crafting would improve over the years. Uh, yeah, fine, put it away for now. And salt war plating was invented. good. Now their tunic. I think they will also advance a little bit. Probably to this, yeah. More hardwood plating and less grasses and natural, uh, natural materials were used in the future design of their armor as a knowledge of metallurgy and woodworking grew. Like that. That is good. Yeah, and it's all one armor, so that is. I wish it was a little bit more inwards. Oh well, this works. Okay. Now the armor kind of needs to be connected to some things. Let's see. Connectors. Yeah, these nugs work fine as connectors as well. Especially if I turn them around like this, then. Looks fine. Okay. Now, anything else I can do with decorations? So maybe something around the tail would be nice. Add more gold rings. Oh, we still need a crescent logo or something. Honestly, I like this uh, spiral sunrise thing. like nice golden ring if we turn this Just 
just above it. Put it like this and then maybe switch it around so it's more curved. That's nice enough. We make it a bit bigger. Yeah, we can press it. Yeah, that works. Okay, now if we put it. Okay, yeah, that's nice enough. like to add a few more pads or something but uh, I don't think that uh, we don't we have the uh, resource for that one a few horns on here that would be cool yeah I can see a few horns too That's nice. If we can copy this, yes. Yeah, they've played a lot of World of Warcraft now. Boom. I think I'll leave it as this. A more religious uh, and more crafted form of armor grew to be popularized amongst the armorita, armor, armorasi. As the sentient bringer was purchased, worshipped with more and more zeal. if it was was under the armor this one hmm so you think on for now this would do I like the golden ring that they have now on the crest lots of meat Yes, the Amorasi were in abundance now that most of their enemies were said. Ooh! Only 240 uh, health. You know what? I think we have a task for ourselves. The longer they remember that some of their birds had perished at the hand of the great beast of Dion, it would be time now gather the tribe and instead end this beast in turn we've already wounded now the beast will be torn down Great monsters and Gian went extinct. Taking some lives, but uh, for the most part, the tribe was secure in their glorious victory. Why are you growling? You, did you just not, not just see what we did? Oh, we have raiders. Well, seems we have to uh, defend ourselves. Defend ourselves! 
Also, let's actually get the Digger 2 head out. Let's see if we can deal with these raiders afterwards. Children, as we lost them to against the great beast. Oh, here they come. My right, tribe, gather together. I unfortunately have some enemies to smite. Stealing food from us. I am very happy we killed that epic creature. They're wrecking our spear hearts. What happens when you try and wreck up spear hearts? Okay, now I need more of this. Oh, it's <laughs> and what I think I'll do... We need to take, uh, let's say you. I want to find me a blood. Let us see if we can't offer a gift of peace towards this uh, old village. Because we had an abundance of food. Perhaps they simply had not heard of the whispers and the voices of the sentient bringer. And so the Amorasi Gave them the benefit of the doubt that proceeded with peaceful war proceedings, sharing their wealth with their less fortunate barbaric neighbors. Even though they were so weakened right now, they could be so easily taken. And so peace was established, at least for a little while, on Gion. When next uh, we uh, will return to life on Gion, we'll see the final stages of uh, life on Spurs. I don't want to kill this thing. Uh-oh. This thing might want to kill us. Is it going to follow us to our village? If so, what I'll give you is one final stand against a great beast. I think that's actually a good idea. Five! Defeat the monster! Why can't we select it? Uh, it's, it's not... Uh, I suppose we do need to get everyone a, a weapon for this. Now we don't want to fix it. Oh well. Oh, then I want to give a final battle here. Ooh, look at that. The moon rolls across the hills. Hopefully all these uh, tribals can uh, grab the spears. Alright, very good. Now grab yourself a spear. And you can grab yourself an axe. And let's go hunt down the great monsters of Gion. Epic Malfak here. It was not a me being that had terrorized them in the past, but such deeds would impress their fellow tribes. I showed them how prime species on GL. Yes, cut it down. Going well. <laughs> the 
And so another one of the great beasts of G almost felled. By the Amorasi tribe. Signaling an end of an age. For in the next episode we will see is how the last of uh, beings of uh, the Amorasi rose from tribal origins to span far for greater cities across the planetscape. So till then.